What's up, everybody? Welcome to Skype Chats with Darius. And we're here with the man himself. Say your name. Well, with you. And there he is. I will not be in the camera today. Um, unfortunately, there's some problems occurring. So Darius, who's your favorite WWE superstar? Y'all seen the Roman Reigns. Me too. Whoa! Me too, yeah. So, um, we're going to talk about last night on SmackDown. What do you think? Yes, um, Del Rio hasn't really done a lot, really. His kids. All the little babies watching out there, this is grown man business. Don't try this at home. Never, no, do not try this at home. Very dangerous stunts. And Del Rio is actually one of the most unpopular right now. He used to be very good when he was champion, but not anymore. Um, what do you think about the rivalry between John Cena and Brock Lesnar starting to stir up? There is. What is it? What do you think about the rivalry between John Cena and Brock Lesnar starting to stir up? WWE. They get on each other. They they get on each other or each other's bad side each and every night. Yes. What do you think about Antonio Cesaro leaving Paul Heyman? Do you think he had a strategy? Uh, yeah. He had a strategy to join, uh, he had a strategy to join Triple H and Seth Rollins as his go-to guy. The authority? Cesaro to be his go-to guy. But Seth Rollins said, I'm his go-to guy. Yeah. Well, the reason why he wanted to switch them because he wanted a championship. I think that's probably why. He's probably trying to start a championship pursuit for like the Air Connell player or maybe the World Heavyweight title or something like that. Also, what did you think of Battlegrounds main event? Kane, Orton, Cena, and Reigns. Roman Reigns had won that match. He had it won until Randy Orton slipped his little snake, snake, his little snake, and he ran that ring and hit him. Uh, so, I personally thought that Roman Reigns was gonna win from the start. So you thought so he won at the so he won the match. He basically was gonna win the match. But he didn't. And who won the match? John Cena. So he won a world championship battle. No, he didn't. He lost. John Cena remember John Cena won money in the bank, but Roman Reigns couldn't win it. So Roman Reigns had the match won, so Randy Orton came in the ring. Seth Rollins and Mr. Money in the Bank. He's going to cash it in against Brock Lesnar and John Cena's match. I know it. And who's going to be there to stop him? Mr. Ro uh, Dean Ambrose. And Roman Reigns. Yep. They could stop the match and the shield could evolve back. But it might not happen. And uh, what do you think about the rivalry between The Miz and Dolph Ziggler? It's just backstage full BS. It's not build up. It has nothing to do with the championship. And that's about it. They just what? don't like each other. Yeah. And what do you think about Stephanie Man getting arrested? I'm wrong. Yeah. I do that. Ooh. Yeah, she should get arrested. And what did you think about the Flow Rider concert? It was awful. It, it, it turned up. Yep. Um, so yeah, My Night Raw was okay. I mean, it wasn't the best, because, uh, Roman Reigns didn't get the last laugh of the day, but still, it was good. Brock Lesnar shouldn't have came back. He should have came back at SummerSlam and not on Raw. It was a bad build-up. So yeah. And we all knew what his plan C was anyway. We all knew Brock Lesnar was going to come back after Cesaro. Dad Paul him in the back, which he should have done. I'm proud of him for doing that. But I'm still psyched up about Cena and, Cena and Lesnar. Where now, Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins yeah. might cash in, but he might not. Seth Rollins is definitely going to cash in for the WWE Champion World WWE Championship. And if you win, yeah. I, I'm, I, 
I can't wait till he wins because I want to see Roman Reigns try again. Out. He's gonna do it soon when he, when Brock Lesnar and John Cena are hurt and they can't get up. That's when he's gonna cash it in. And I would much rather see him take the belt from Lesnar than Cena. Yeah, if he takes the belt from Lesnar, Lesnar's gonna hunt him down like a dog. Yeah, and that'd be good for the Authority also because they might have something to do it because if Cena if, there's no point in Cena winning on SummerSlam if he's going to cash it yeah that's what people do he's going to no cash point. it in where both of them are weak and they there's, can't get yeah, up yeah there's no point in Cena winning if he's going to cash it in because that match is going to be like two hours long yeah it's going to be it's going to be a while but yeah the main attraction is definitely Seth Rollins trying to cash in I mean, if Daniel Bryan even comes back the next night at Raw, it would still will not be a good build-up for John Cena or Brock Lesnar. So, and the last story is about Bray Wyatt and Chris Jericho. What are your thoughts? Well, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family had, um, had walked in on Chris Jericho and his interview. And Bray Wyatt has banged his head against the locker and knocked him out. Yeah, we are still trying to see what hap what's going to happen with Jericho. And uh, he Monday was not Monday. he was not SmackDown, which is not a good sign. Which Roman Reigns had beat Alberto Del Rio last night. Yes. That's my homie Roman Reigns. And what do you think about Swagger and Rusev? Swagger's going to be the gut wrench I think it's just a rivalry thing, and we're starting to see the good side of Swagger also. Swagger's turning into a good person, which I've never seen before. He's never been a good guy. All he's trying to do is defend his country, and I appreciate him for it. And if they have a match... All I have to say is, we forget the people. That's what I say. Don't say... All little all kids, all little babies watching out here, do not say we the people. Forget it. And why is that? Because it's stupid and it's just TV stuff. Yeah. Rusev and Lana are just... Okay, let me admit this. Rusev is a good fighter, but he does not do it for entertainment. He does it for Russia. But it's all TV. It's not, it's not all really for the USA. They're just playing it out. So, Swagger needs to build up something, because he can't face Rusev of every pay-per-view. It can't happen. Um, and finally, what do you think about the disappearance of Mr. CM Punk? That's good that he left. He yeah, I, I... He's the best at sucking, not... Getting a job done, that's what he's best at. Yeah, the reason why he lo he left those of you who know is because he lost the Rumble. He has no chance of getting the title back now. And he just, he retired. And he, had okay, he had a good career. He won the title for a long time. Longest reigning champion of our decade, which is pretty good. But Bruno San Martino will always be the longest reigning champion. You got that right for that. And finally, what do you think about Hulk Hogan hosting WrestleMania 30? It's going to be live. It's going to be turned up. Everyone's going to be like, rip the shirts, just have his fake hair, his fake mustache, it's just going to be turned up. It was a great WrestleMania. The only bad part about it is the Undertaker loss. Yeah, Brock Lesnar. Everything, <laughs> everything else was amazing. Yeah. Um, the Shield can't beat. Um, Oh no. The Y family, you mean? Yeah, the Y family. The Y family. Wait, I don't, wait. Who did the? Sh I don't even know if the Shield even was even there. I'm not sure. I don't know what happened. But yeah, it was a pretty good night. The Y, Cena versus Y, it was okay. It was okay. But yeah. Um, what do you think about uh? Fon Dongo and Summer Rae and um, Layla. It was funny. He's like, what are you doing with my girls? It was funny. Yeah, it was kind of funny that Fon Dongo finally doesn't have anyone. Um, but yes, 
there was there there's really no point of that rivalry really just love and hate relationships so yeah all right guys we'll see you next time all right homies peace see ya